In this video, I'm going to show you my latest board, this USB LED dot matrix board, which has a big 18 F2550 and uh, a couple of buttons. We see buttons here. We see an expansion port and a port for accelerometer or joystick. The accelerometer or joystick, this is the accelerometer. I use. It's uh, an accelerometer from Microchip. Uh, no, sorry, from Microelectronics. Uh, and this is a joystick from SparkFun. And uh, it just plugs directly into there. But uh, let's see when uh, we plug it into the USB port. The first thing you'll notice when you plug it into the USB port is that it reads the EEPROM and then shows an image and uh, this is just a sample image if we go to the computer screen we would now see our guy, GUI um, which shows the image currently being shown and shows an interface where we can see if we press up button it will light up and then it also moves the display it just moves the display upwards and we'll see the same on the screen. Also if we press enter it uh, random selects some pixels. Now we can also choose I've uh, pre-written some images into the EEPROM. If we now type image number 1 we will say address offset 16 we press read image and reading and then you'll see a small house the same thing is here we can also instead of this we can uh, click clear LEDs and then we can press here to select the color and the same thing will happen on the display in real time So let's say if we now make a orange square in here. It will be over here too. And then uh, let's see a green up here. And a red down here. Maybe. Yeah. And then we can click here and say save as image number 2. We click save and it writes to the AA prom. And now if we turn off the power or just switch to another image like for example let's say the house which is image number one it will load the house. If we then click uh, read image and read image number two it will read our last saved image. There you go. All this is stored on the 24C1025, uh, which is a 1 megabit EEPROM from Microchip. So, uh, yeah, the problem with the joystick or accelerometer in this current uh, revision of the board is that the LED dot matrix can't fit on the board in the meanwhile the joystick or accelerometer is attached but anyways it works well now we attach the joystick so we go to our program and uh, say analog read and click and press enable then it's calibrating and uh, we'll see this is the analog values set is uh, press and down and it isn't uh, pulled up so it was it's just floating but over here is our X and Y schematic so if I turn the joystick you'll see an arrow and the same thing me turning the joystick and the arrow on the computer now if I disable analog and then uh, plug in the accelerometer instead so let's take the accelerometer. 
something like that. And then we go over and say enable again. It's calibrating. And then we got the accelerometer. And uh, if I move this, uh, let's calibrate one more time. It's easier to see. Here, you'll notice now I'm moving it. And you'll notice the slightly change. It's the accelerometer. But uh, that's probably it. I'll make a kit out of uh, this if there's enough requests. Thank you. Okay, Jay, production.